morning beautiful people it is saturday the 6th of october that's where i slept last night that little dry patch it rained all night but to be honest i was perfectly dry in my tent so it was all good everything's packed up i've oh, stupidly i've put my tent here instead of inside but whatever it's fine um yeah again today i'm not really sure how far i'm gonna head where i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna head to a place a town called eureka and try and find like a motel there i think i just need a bit of um well a i need to shower because actually i really do smell actually well i don't really but it's more like it's more like just like sweat and dirt like i'm just i'm just messy like i'm just oh so um yeah that's the plan blue skies so potentially it's gonna be a sunny day Fingers crossed, right? Let's do this. Okay, check out the elk. Oh, they're a bit too far away, but there are elk there. They are absolutely massive. 9.56, I'm back on the road again, and there's a big old hill waiting for me. Yay! just ridden over Big Lagoon and I mean yeah, it's really misty but the sun's trying to come out but this is really beautiful apart from these and these <laughs> making noise on the road oh so Eureka's where I want to head today and then San Francisco 296 miles <laughs> I've just come off the South 101 and it's headed, sent me down this something called the Hammond Trail. And I don't know if you can see, so this is like quite a steep downhill, then flattens out and there's like a cool little bridge in the distance. So that's, uh, that's where we're going next, folks. <laughs> Guys, I've broken. I'm actually, I've just checked myself into a motel. I'm gonna have some, um, some Sarah time, some Wi-Fi time. And here we are, room number 12. So let's go see what it's like, shall we? Oh, okay, here we are. Dun, dun, dun. Room 12. Ta-da! So, um, so this is it. <laughs> $75. Uh, bathroom. Toilet, shower. Oh, they even give me some toiletries. Very nice. Okay. Woo, hello. <laughs> right, let's. Oh, my God, it's very loud. Um, okay, right, I'm going to sort myself out and. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, sort, sort my life out. First, first things first, I'm getting things charged and I'm uploading footage. My, te my tent's pretty soaked as well, so I'm hanging the tent in, um, in the bathroom. <laughs> Just trying to like dry it out a little bit because it is sodden. Um, yeah, I'm making, such, I'm making such a mess. Oh, well. Good morning, beautiful people. So it is the 7th of October. I spent the night in the uh, motel room. Uh, it's coming up to check out. It's about 10.30. I'm still trying to upload uh, daily podcast footage. I'm also trying to upload vlogs for Flynn to edit. I'm also trying to pack. I also need to eat some food. Things are a little bit manic. I've managed to pack one bag so far. Hey! Um, so I've still got a little bit more packing to do and then I'm just going to see where I'm at because basically I need to leave here at like 10.45 so I've got about 20 minutes to sort my life out. Okay, I'll keep you updated. So I'm leaving Eureka and it's like every moron in a car is, uh, is on this road. Like seriously, they are coming this close to me and I want to shout at them. Are you, you moron? Like OMG. Um, going south on 101, which is correct, which is 
fine, but there should have been a turn off. And basically I should have been riding out there in the beautifulness and instead I'm riding here with these and them and trucks. So, I mean, it's all fine. I'm still heading in the right direction. I'm just doing on a slightly different route. So hopefully at some point, I think I hit a place called like Rio Bell. I should be able to cross back over. I can see there's a bicyclist over there. It should be over there somewhere. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful day though. The sun is shining, the sky's blue. Where, there, oh no, it's not, it's not a bicyclist, it's a mountain biker. No, it's not a mountain biker. Oh, you know what I mean? It's on one of the fun bikes, whatever, what do you call them? Dirt bikes, that's what I mean. God. So I don't quite know how to get down to that road. I mean, it's fine. I'm basically I'm just going to carry on to exit uh, 674, which is the exit for Avenue of the Giants. Um, and then I think then it'll join us again. So it'll be fine. I'm still heading south, so it's all good. Avenue of the Giants, scenic alternative, exit two miles. Woo! Oh, so I've just decided to take a little break. It's meant to be a vista point, but the views aren't that awesome. Just so this is just before the Avenue of the Giants. I'm just gonna have some food and water because I feel um, so hungry. I want to rip someone's face off to eat some food. So, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm digging into some classic hummus with some lovely carrots. Mmm, delicious. Oh, it's just gone suddenly. It's super, super cold, so I've just put my top on. But I am so excited and cannot wait. It is time for Avenue of the Giants. Oh, this is gonna be friggin' epic. Okay, it's also probably gonna be really cold as well, but I'm very excited. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the Avenue of the Giants. This is very, very cool, I have to say. These trees are absolutely ginormous. That way. Very, very, very cool. It smells incredible as well. It smells, it smells of nature. Yay. <laughs> Just look at the size of them. Oh my God, absolutely magnificent. Ancient red redwood age, 950 to 1,000 years. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. Let's have a, let's have a hug with the tree. Oh God, it's just massive. I hope this is the right tree. It'd be quite funny if it's not. Look at the base of it. Looks like a double tree. Wow. That's pretty epic. Epic. <laughs> Can you see I've got a fly in my eye? How? Ah. 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 No. Oh, it might be still be alive. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. It is Sunday 7th of October and it is 4, 4.43 and I've made it to Burlington Campground. So today it possibly would have been around 60 odd miles I think. So it would have been 66 miles from the place before Eureka where I stay at the motel but I think I went six miles ahead. So yeah I think it's about 60 odd miles maybe a little bit less maybe 58 something like that but 
God, I've arrived in pretty good time. I am very, very happy. Right, let's just hope they have hiker bike up rates for like eight dollars. That would be a that would be a win. Not the actual hike, but they have a big parking lot where you can in the car. Oh, you can go hike yourself. Got it. Okay. Yeah, winning. We were just up there. Okay guys, I've arrived. I'm gonna, this looks like someone set up a tent there previously, so I'm gonna utilize that space. Uh, they've also found out they've got Wi-Fi up there, so I'm gonna get myself set up, uh, and then I'm gonna be efficient and go and do my daily podcast. But I'm so pleased with myself that I've arrived um, in pretty good time, so yeah, this is good. Although I hope that generator's not gonna be on all night because that's really loud. But anyway, let's get unpacked, let's get this sorted. Mm -hmm.